three, this one right here. Hi, have Hello. you got a fox in the bathroom? Do, yes. I will come and deal with your fox in the bathroom for you, young sir. Right. How long has it been in the house? Uh, I don't know because um, my granddaughter came home from school and then discovered it in her bedroom. Oh, lovely, that's nice. Right, we're going to have a peep. Right, where are you, Foxy Docs? Where are you, Foxy Docs? Oh, there it is. There's like a nasty rump wound. Yeah, so he's going to have to come back to the centre. Are you nice and warm, Foxy? Sorry about that, fella. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing, Foxy Docs? Yeah, he's not the light, he's going. All right, fella. If he goes up, I'm not going to be able to pull him out, there's a trouble. He's going to go. All right, my baby, come on. No, I want you to go that way a little bit, so I can get my grasp in. I'm not sure that's really helped me at all. Okay, Doxy Wox. Okay, Doxy Wox. Will he pull it? He will pull out that way, won't he? If we do get it round him there. That water pipe's very loose. If we give him a big tug, I can see that water pipe coming off. Which would be highly embarrassing for everybody. Wouldn't it, fella, hey? It would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Just really worried about that water pipe, which is so loose. I'd be tempted if you want getting to get back in the middle. Um, yeah. Getting back in the middle. Yeah, I think so. um, on, we can on. always block one side. Go, on, go, on. go back. Go back. The joy of an overlong grasp. Where are you, fella? Where's he gone now? Where is he? I'm honestly not sure. He's gone, Laurie. He's gone. As it turned out, the young fox wasn't quite as contained as we had thought and had slipped down a small hole underneath the floor. This rescue had just become a whole lot more complicated. Is that him there? Sounds to me, oh, I say it's not that deep then. No, he's about three quarters of the way down yeah, there. I can see him here, he looks, from here he looks a long way down. We can't get our hand down there to grab him with a glove on, I don't think. But did you notice if there was an open gap behind him or whether this is enclosed? Didn't, it looks enclosed, but I wouldn't want to swear to it. It was definitely a tight squeeze to get down to the open hole. So I handed over rescue duty to someone who seemed to take tiny gaps as a challenge, and that will be Laurie. Oh, it's really been close. And then you get the grasp it along there and down there to get to him. Yeah, the cable one. The, the issue is going to be how we get it down there, that's the thing. Have you got the drain rods or anything like that? I haven't because I don't think you'll get... We'll get around don't the corner. Think, I think this is the bigger one, I think, solid enough to push down there, isn't it? Potentially, yeah. It's just making sure that we keep the loop open, that's the issue. I think that'll probably stay open, to be honest. That's the little one. And you've got a biggish loop on there which you can close up as you go. Only you can see what's going on at the moment. I'm trying to work out the best way of doing it but keeping the loop of the grass broken. If you want the other one, it's here. That's, that's not manoeuvrable enough. Right? Passing it to you with a very closed loop, quite a closed loop. I can get one of the drain rods up, but I just don't know it's going to help me that much, to be honest. The problem is, is they'll get down there and the loops just sat on the ground, you know? Yeah. You need him to either move into it. So what do you want, really, a gaffer? You want a, want a couple of those, uh, you know, the attic poles, drain rod poles, and a bit of gaffer? And the chiropractor, if you've got one. Just, the more you push when it's in there, it just makes the loop bigger. Right. Hello, Fox. With the Fox being just a little too far out of Laurie's reach, I left him to see if I could find an appropriate pole in the car. Whilst I was gone, he seemed to have the same idea, attaching a grasper cable to an extendable cleaning rod to gain that critical extra reach. Go 
in anywhere or not. The loop keeps closing when it goes down. Do you want me to prod, prod in from behind or not? Not the moment. His, his head's in a decent position. I just, I need to get my angle. So. Oh, this is going to hurt tomorrow. Right, so what do you want really, anything? Uh, do we have a glove? Yeah. And obviously when he's here, we're going to need to... Yeah, we've got to here, really. Yeah. We've got him. Oh, well done. Sure. You want a glove? Yeah, right hand. Cute. All right. Have you got him then? Well. Lori seems to have got a fox, which is miraculous, to be mm -hmm. honest. Right. Well done, that man. Well, that is a miracle. So, what was that like as a rescue, Laurie? We've worked in some quite tight spaces, but that was certainly one of the tightest, not a lot of room to work in, and they had to try and find some way of getting down and under. But luckily we managed it, he did behave in the end, he stuck his head up, and hopefully we can get him back and the vet team can look at that wound on the backside. Right, we will get him back, and uh, hope not to see you too soon with another one. <laughs> right, Foxy, where are we gonna put you? Right, come on Foxy Foxy. Now safely contained and kept far away from any small spaces, the fox was taken back to the hospital for a full assessment. With the stress of the rescue still a little fresh, she was quietly placed in a warm pen to calm down, ready for a full checkup in the morning. Early the next morning, the fox was taken straight in to see our vet team for a full examination. Although her fur loss looks extreme, she was remarkably uninjured, with just a few small puncture wounds to her back and a cut to one leg. Whilst these were definitely older injuries, some were showing the early signs of infection, and the decision was made to start a course of treatment. Working together, Morgan and Miriam thoroughly cleaned and drained each injury before placing the fox on a course of antibiotics. With a surprisingly lucky escape, she was moved back to her pen to recover, ready to start the healing process in peace. Today we get to release the bath fox that came into to us. Her, her abscesses have healed really well, so we're going to release her. She has a small bit of fur missing, but it's right in the middle of the breeding season, so it's best to let her go. Come on then. Nice calm release back to the wild. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.